in the section of you know, Swiki or Zomato, whatever you call and the fast food culture, which uh, we never had in our city. It is a fact. Many of your youngsters might have not seen, but uh, during that time, fast food was considered as a very bad uh, thing. Legally, fast food was not good for you. So, the use of you know, the content to cook all these things actually are not good for your body. Initially, they start with a bit of stomach upset, nasty then we use it just as we will see some time later we take it and just be like no. The excess calories what you take, they go and deposit it in the liver. A fatty form. And from there on, whenever your body needs energy, it has glucose out of it. But the circulating fat level, they, they will be there. And there starts, you know, the initial surge. That's why many of the angry individuals you know, start to feel sedation. And they go eat, eat a lot. And they don't know what is going to be eating. But you are taking this polyphenol, this protein, content, and all these things. You need to be very carefully conscious. If your food should be less but energy less. This is the thing you should be doing. So I always insist and you know before treating a patient, I ask for the lifestyle of the disease because we ask what you do. And then Lifestyle intervention is the most important thing we need to tell and educate each other. It should be your own responsibility as well, as well at your home level, where your parents, your siblings, you know, your relatives should be known of this fact. I want outside food. My, my clear advice to you is whatever you want to do, bring it to the home Let them not be any support. Calorie and binge eating should be avoided. The calorie content should be properly restricted. And eat what is good. You know, many of you might be vegetarians, many of you might be non-vegetarians. So whatever you eat, eat a healthy food. It should be a balanced diet. If you Google, you know, asking for a balanced diet chart, you will get many recipes. You will get many recipes. Try and formulate and make it according for a week. Then try. Once you start to follow it, if any of them might be having some kind of, you know, stomach disorder or some kind of pain, discomfort in their stomach, anything, these all will start to get better. Your day to day energy levels will increase. These food, perfect foods, will never give you any strength, nor they are going to have any benefit to So, this, uh, it is high time for our society to realize and understand the importance of lifestyle modification. That is, health lifestyle modification. And these are the steps to prevent major diseases. As, you, as in my practice, I have seen, you know, my cardiac infarction, that is heart attack, you know, in young individuals such as 27 year old males from 2 to 90 years. You know, it's a surprising thing that a uh, 27 year old or 30 year old, you know, guy getting a heart attack. It's very really shocking. And um, getting complicated with those diseases is very, very unfortunate. So there is a background problem. Things doesn't happen as they happen. So the process of atherosclerosis to be more frank, the deposition of the plaques, the fatty plaques near blood vessels starts early and these kinds of bad lifestyle are followed and practiced. And with that, you know, the ticking time bomb where it can be a formation of a clot and it does immediately cause a So you should be all aware of all these things. Be it a brain stroke, be it a, uh, you know, heart stroke, be it any kind of other combination apart from the hypertension or any diseases or your we are all, we are educated people, we are getting towards you know, the new era. Our India is now 46% we are equipped Our whole virtual population of our country, anyone? So, with, with this population, 46% amount, uh, you know, account to the youth, 46% are youth. 
Now we are, are the most dominating individuals right now and they are the most active ones. Whenever a person gets wounded, you know, has bruises, they will not apply salt on the wound to be very bad for them. They will not apply any other dust to the wounds. But they apply medicine which will cause them a little bit burn, but gives them a early age. So the battle of diabetes has, you know, Socrates said on this. Let thy food be thy medicine, and let thy medicine be thy food. So, so the best medicine uh, is, you know, is I understand there are a lot of difficulties, you know, when the patient understands and is getting adapted. It doesn't happen in one day, I agree. No patient of mine, I tell you, patient of my diabetic patients or hypertension patients has advice will never fall. That is taken and granted. I take that thing. It is very difficult to you know, adapt to this significant amount of food. They overeat sometimes, but that is promising. But they are getting their you know, calorie intake to at least 40 to 50 percent. That is enough for them. Not my point. And use of pink salt is good. I have already told that the Himalayan pink salt, or the rock salt, is that is good. And it can be used actually. And more, uh, more work, you know. You can try Mediterranean type of food, Mediterranean diet that consists more of veggies, the lettuce, the broccoli, right? These are the things you can take, but you know, just make it olive oil. These are the things, you know, if you are not taking it, you are taking some kind of chicken or fish or meat, you should make sure it is great. It is not oil based on this fried or something like that. Okay. It should be great. These all things will give you a really good, you know, health, healthy, you know, feel, good endurance feel. Today, what everyone lacks in the whole life when they get tired is endurance. At the end of the day, when you do your work, there should be some endurance left now, but that's when you should be actually prepared for life. So these are the things we keep piling up. Your body can adapt and you will take more. Like it takes no, I cannot no, take it now. It's high time to show the symptoms. So these are the warning signs which body will start to show. As I tell that diabetes doesn't have any, any kind of uh, you know, silent killer once it happens. Not for it, it happens to no one actually. But if hypertension, it hardly has any signs, particularly in young men. It might have some heavy headache or something like that. But doesn't that. But it silently you know, affects or exerts that much amount of pressure. So damage is all. So we may see diabetes also. It has its own complications. So for your all, my my humble request with this message, you know, your lifestyle will determine how long you will be living. And your lifestyle should be as you know according to the climatic region. What like, what climatic zone you are. And how much amount of exercise is it? A new concept, I'll tell you one thing. Because as I advised previously, for young normal individuals without any disease, uh, you know, for workout of one hour was it first. That amounts to about uh, 4 kilometers per hour. But as is getting difficult day in day by day, so for all patients as well as uh, the young individuals as well, Five minutes per hour. Right? For every hour, we will walk five minutes. So, this is the thing. Right now, you wake up from the bed, you know, change yourself and give me some sense. Walk for five minutes, then sit back and go to work. And once that one hour completes, then you walk. It's a right walk. It's not a fast walk. It's a right walk. Walk for five minutes. That's it. And once after one or two weeks, your body really gets adapted, adapted well and you really feel energy. This has been a major clinical trial done in many patients, right, from the middle age group to the end. And the it was the patients were much compliant and they really understood, huh, it's a matter of just five minutes. It's, it's no problem in doing five minutes to avoid a walk. So that is easy rather than, you know, they know how to walk for one hour. Have some call. No, oh, at your workplace only you can do it. Right? Wherever you are. Five minutes of walk, that is just your station somewhere just and walk. 
तो हेल्दी थिंग्स नीड टू टेक इट एंड की करता है प्लीज ड्रिंक एडिक्वेट अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर एट लीस्ट टू टू थ्री डेज हैव बीन अ शॉर्ट सर्व अ टैबलेट एट द डेली दैट इज टू डू दिस एरिया ऑफ द फैसिलिटी ऑफ थ्री किलोमीटर्स ऑलमोस्ट जनरली वी डू द एनरोल फॉर दिस रैंडम क्वेश्चन दैट an individual you know in this area how much amount of water they take and it was found hardly they take 750 ml per day is it not surprising and it is very bad or suppose water is the best medicine for what god has given to us so it is recommended for a healthy individual without any disease three liters of water per day two to three liters of water per day is really healthy so you know with this message i would like to you know emphasize and ask you to keep on these good healthy lifestyle points and integrate and start practicing them so as we do stay away from all these diseases you will go you won't require any further you know pills or medicines or any other thing in the coming lifestyle but in any if you have family history of diabetes or something Hypertension, diabetes, and other things they have. They are closely tied to each other. Females have PCODs in them. The reason why it's a vicious circle that starts. They are all connected. So don't let that thing come to you. So you know, getting up early in the morning is very good. And having a breakfast early is very good for you. So practice these healthy tips, and hopefully. Keep all these diseases away from you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, let us discuss about adult vaccination. Actually, we all know about immunity. What is immunity? It is the ability of the body to defend against bacteria, virus, and fungi, various bacteria organisms. So, have you heard about vaccination in adults in the recent past? We might have received COVID vaccine, all of you, right? What is that vaccine? What does it do? Right. Normally, uh, there are two types of uh, immunity systems in the body. First is innate immunity system that we get from birth, directly from the birth of the own body to act against the various diseases. And second is acquired immunity. That is, you can get immunity power with natural infection. That like if you get any disease, for example, COVID or influenza or anything, if you get the disease, you, your body will develop antibodies. So that next time, it will fight against that antibodies present in your body will fight against the disease. So, what is other type of immunity? Is vaccination or uh, immunity acquired through vaccines that causes weakened virus or inactivated virus is uh, introduced in our body in the form of vaccines, so that your body will fight against the suppose COVID virus is attacking your body. If you have have already received already a vaccination, if you have received. So that your body will fight against the disease and will not get COVID, or even if you get COVID, will not get serious COVID. Okay. So except COVID, what vaccines you have been to have have you heard in the adults? Usually we know that while every child in our home will get take doctor take us them to doctor for vaccination. We all know about that. In fifteen years or so. But have you heard uh, heard about adult vaccination? Which is which is most needed in each and every individual. What are the vaccines routinely taken by you? Have you taken TB? TB is one type of vaccine. It prevents against tetanus. Tetanus is found in the spores in the soil. So previously, when now in the heat environment, we will not get such type of tetanus infection. But previously. When the uh, deliveries are done, it is done more more probably in the at the home home deliveries or institutional deliveries is not that practice in the older days. So pregnant females will be given tetanus vaccine in the fourth and fifth month or fifth or sixth month. 
and even if we get if we get injured, we take over uh, tetanus vaccine. That is the role that once you get you are infected with tetanus, this vaccine prevents you from getting worse or becoming bad. So as such, other vaccines are there like influenza vaccine and uh, boost PDAP vaccine is there and uh, influenza vaccine, PDAP vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine. We usually see in some of our families, uh, we have patients suffering from asthma, lung problems, uh, COPD problems, ILD problems. They get mostly frequently affected with cold, cough, etc. And some, some uncontrolled diabetic patients. They should receive uh, influenza vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine, so that uh, the common host organisms which affect lungs in, in addition to influenza or COVID are pneumococcal, pneumococcal virus, bacteria and hemophilus influenza virus, uh, influenza bacteria and swine flu influenza. So if you take vaccine in mid from summer or in the uh, late February or in the March, in the June from June to November you get common respiratory infections. So these people, especially we also take, but especially those who are having bronchial asthma and getting recurrent respiratory infection, they should be vaccinated with flu vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine and boost six vaccine. Okay. And next thing is that uh, who are commonly in the hospital premises or who are working with the blood lab technicians, microbiologists, pathologists, and doctors, sisters, nurses, they mostly they are in the touch of blood by drinking or giving injections. So through blood contact they may acquire hepatitis B virus, which is a deadly virus, it affects liver causing liver failure. So those who are hospital workers or those who are working in labs, those who are HPV vaccine that was introduced by Serum Institute Pune. Previously, hepatitis B, hepatitis B, HPV vaccine is introduced in long term back in foreign countries, but it was very costly. Hepatitis B, human papilloma virus causes cervical cancers in the females. So, previously it was due to cost issues, nobody used to take. But recently, government has launched between low price 200 to 400 rupees. So every female should be vaccinated with HPV virus to prevent cervical cancer. Almost uh, since last two to three years, 175,000 females were affected with cervical cancer. Even Sonia Gandhi was affected with cervical cancer. So most of the females are affected with cervical cancer due to human papilloma virus. So for that, vaccine has come and it is very less price. So that should be taken. From 9 years onwards, can be taken at any age, up to 50 years also. And government has been launching in very low cost, so human papilloma virus vaccine should be taken by all females. If you have taken tetanus oxide vaccine, DT vaccine, within last 10 years, 5 years or 10 years, then you need not vaccinate every time when you get injured. Almost it covers for 5 years. Okay? And flu vaccine should be taken every year. At least for those who are having recurrent respiratory problems or long-term respiratory problems like asthma, COPD, IOD, etc. These people should get influenza vaccine, a pneumococcal vaccine. Even for cardiac patients, those who are having chronic heart conditions, they also need to take pneumococcal and influenza vaccine. You implant the vaccine for every year once and uh, uh, pneumococcal vaccine for every five years. And regarding four crores of COVID vaccine, we are still in, in US countries, they are giving four crores of vaccine already. Uh, they are giving booster dose of Pfizer, Moderna, etc. But recently, government are still in the thought that we have to give four crores of vaccine or not. It is still in the realm. But those who are not, not vaccinated with booster dose of COVID, they should take immediately booster dose of vaccination because we have seen sudden sort of cases in the last few months from mid December till now. 